Hello, I'm Julia and this is Young Artists Club. This week I'm going to show you how to make pictures, or sculptures actually, that look a little bit like this. We're going to be inspired by an artist who lived in the 20th century. Her name was Louise Nevelson. Louise Nevelson was a sculptor living and working in the United States of America in the 20th century and she was very famous for her huge installations, her huge sculptures which were monochromatic which means that she always had them in just one colour. And you'll see that my pictures here or my sculptures here are in just one colour too. Nevelson was very well known for her huge monochromatic wooden wall pieces. The sculptures were puzzle-like and they had multiple intricately cut pieces placed into boxes and the boxes were then put together onto a wall. The wooden shapes were a mixture of found objects like chair legs and pieces from staircases as well as abstract shapes. Nevelson called the space enclosed in these boxes environments and she always painted them in just one colour, so either black or white or as you can see here, and this was more in the 1960s, gold. To make relief sculptures inspired by Louise Nevelson's work, we're not going to use wood, it's very hard to work with. So we're going to use cardboard. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to raid your recycling and see if you can find some cardboard boxes and some pieces of cardboard that you can make into your art. You're going to need a nice sturdy piece of cardboard as the base for your art and then a selection of pieces of cardboard, some a little bit thinner than the base piece so that you can cut those and stick those on. So here I've got a single piece of corrug corrugated cardboard and other offcuts from various boxes and packaging. You're going to need some scissors some PVA glue, that's the white glue, something to put it in and something to apply it with, like a brush. And then you're going to need, if you haven't got glue, some double-sided sticky tape like this. But if you have glue, you don't need that. You'll also need just one colour of paint. You can use acrylic paint if you have it, or just poster paint if you would like. Just add a little bit of PVA glue to make sure that it doesn't peel off. Then it's time to start cutting. Cut out some shapes, some abstract shapes, anything you like. You can peel off paper as well to make the corrugated part of the cardboard show. The books you can see here are to help the glue to stick the cardboard in place. This is another one I made using double-sided sticky tape. Once the glue is dry, you can start to paint. Don't you think these pictures just scream, paint me, paint me? And yes, it is as satisfying as you hope it might be.
pictures or sculptures won't take too long to dry. The acrylic paint dries incredibly quickly in the sunshine and the, this is just poster paint so which I mixed with a bit of glue. That shouldn't take too long to dry either. So see what kind of environments you can make out of your cut pieces of cardboard. Remember to use lots of glue or lots of double-sided sticky tape to make sure the pieces are firmly stuck and give them a chance to dry before you get painting. Why not have a go at making your own gorgeous relief sculpture in the style of Louise Nelson this week? Send us just a photograph of your picture or you making your picture. We always love to see you busily creating and I hope you'll join us next week for another Young Artist Club. Bye for now.